isn't it about time we got the truth on issues concerning ordination? The Theology of Ordination Study Committee has been meeting, and it's been great for me to be a part of that process because I came with an open heart, open mind, uh, wondering what, uh, you know, what position I should take, what position the church should take. And uh, one of the things that I've, I've heard in a lot of the popular Adventist media was that, you know, women used to be ordained, but now they're not being ordained, and that, you know, somehow males have taken over the church, and this needs to be reversed. So I wondered, was there ever a time within Adventist history that, uh, you know, women were being ordained to the gospel ministry, um, as has been intimated in many different uh, articles and different things I've read in the popular press. So what really impressed me that in was some papers. Here's a paper by David Trim. I, I encourage you to read it. It's on the Theology of Ordination Study Committee website. And, uh, you know, they asked the question, were Seventh-day Adventists ever ordained to gospel ministry? Well, the short answer is no. There has never been a woman ordained to gospel ministry in Adventist history. Here, here's a quote from the paper itself. That a woman has been ordained to gospel ministry with the sanction of the organized Seventh-day Adventist church is highly unlikely. It is possible that ad hoc measures were taken that departed from denominational practice, or in other words, practice, but I'm unaware of any documentary evidence, and even if it were true, like if there had been an ad hoc evidence, it cannot be taken as normative. So, were Seventh-day Adventists ever ordained to gospel ministry in early Adventist history? The answer is simply no. What about the examples that have been often mentioned as proof that Seventh-day Adventist women were ordained in its early history. What about Ellen White? Short answer, no, she was not. Uh, again, another quote from the paper, uh, page 7 and 8. And this, by the way, David Trim is the archivist. In other words, he has access to all the historical records. This is what he said. Although Ellen White carried an ordained minister's credential, she was never ordained. Now, I've often seen those agitating for women's ordination today, hold up Ellen White's credentials and then claim on that basis that she was ordained. But the simple fact is, she was not. Now, isn't it about time to tell people the truth? I mean, just the truth about the history of this issue. Uh, another question I had as I came to this committee, why have so many people been saying that early Adventist women were ordained? Um, you know, why would, what would lead people to do that? And I'm not here to question motives, but I would just simply say, they don't have the facts, but now we do. Uh, again, looking at this excellent research by the head archivist, archivist of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, uh, again from his paper, there is in some, looking at all the research done by the above groups, as much wistful thinking as historical fact in many of the conclusions drawn about women ministry in the 19th century. Well, well what about all that history that they came up with? Um, well, here it is, again from the same paper. This judgment that no woman have, or women have been ordained with the sanction of the organized denomination runs contrary to the trend of much of the recent hist history on women's ordination in Adventist history, which is written by proponents of ordaining women to gospel ministry. The sheer volume can seem impressive. However, this body of scholarship does not actually prove its case due to a critical misunderstanding of what early Adventists supported when it came to the involvement of women in the church. So, even though you might see all kinds of papers, all kinds of articles, what I learned and what really impacted me was that there is no historical evidence of women in early Adventist history being ordained. Now, I might add, during that time, early Adventist history, there were, you know, depending on what list you look at, anywhere from 13 to 20 other denominations that began ordaining women during that time. So even though many other denominations were ordaining women in early Adventist history, Adventists did not. So what's been the result of this misinformation? Well, again, in summarizing the result, David Trim in his paper says, the result is to create a fallacious impression that Adventist pioneers, including Ellen White, approved of ordaining women to gospel ministry when they really didn't. So why don't we just tell the truth? Why don't we just give people the facts? Now, what's even more troubling to me, I got to be honest with you, is that even in light of these facts, and they are facts, 
I still am hearing people that even sat in the committee with me and heard the facts continue to mislead people concerning the history of ordination in the church. I think that's troubling. This uh, process has been very informative to me, and on the basis of the historical evidence presented, I find really no compelling reason to argue that this denomination has in the past ordained women or that they should start doing it now. And what really convinced me was not my emotions, it was the evidence. It was history itself. Isn't it about time to tell people the truth?